to Brighton Broadcaster News. Good afternoon, I'm Jessie Williams and this is Brighton Broadcaster News. Our top stories at 12. Brighton and Hove City Council have announced they rejected a request for a third-party investigation into spending on the development of Valley Gardens, as Aunt McEwen reports. Last night, Brighton and Hove City Council was requested to further investigate spending on future plans of the controversial Valley Garden scheme, upon concerns raised by Councillor Lee Wares that considerations had not been addressed on traffic and environmental impacts. However, the Audit and Standards Committee voted against a third-party investigation. In a statement today from the committee chair, Councillor Leo Lippman said that the council feels a review of spending on the project had been carried out correctly. Ant McEwen, Brighton Broadcaster News. Coroner Veronica hamilton Dealey said that Brighton has more drug-related deaths than anywhere else. The public seem unsurprised by this report. Despite this, Veronica says that the... the oh, it doesn't surprise me, because it's, it's a very lively city and a great city, and when this too happens, also. Despite this, Veronica says that these cases will never be dismissed as another drug-related death. The leases for, white, for the future of Waterhall and Hollingbury golf courses will be decided tomorrow as their leases are renewed by the council. Fifteen bids have been received for the two sites. The Tourism, Equality, Communities and Culture Committee will meet to discuss their futures. Climate activists such as Extinction Rebellion, who demonstrated in Brighton over the weekend, will hope that these leases will be, will be given to a community interest group to begin a rewilding project. A petition addressed to East Sussex County Council asked for better safety precautions for the River Ouse in Lewis has received almost 2,500 signatures. The petition is calling for better lighting, stronger river banks and man-made flood plain channels to stop people from falling into the river. Kate Stewart reports. This petition comes following the death of firefighter Anthony Knott, whose body was found in the river on Friday after he disappeared three weeks ago. Whilst the petition is directed at East Sussex County Council, it's the Environment Agency that's responsible for rivers and riverbanks. In response, the Environment Agency said, We're always seeking to improve water safety. However, we're also keen to ensure that people continue to have access to our rivers and waterways. Kate Stewart, Brighton Broadcaster News. And now for the sport. Well, Tottenham Hotspur have announced the loan agreement of Gedson Fernandes from Benfica with an option to make the transfer permanent at the end of the 18-month period. Fernandes says it is, it, is, it is his dream to play for a Premier Club. I'm very happy today. I make my dream. It's for me, it's one big dream playing this big club. And I will try to, to give my best for the club. Every day, every training, every game for this shirt and every day try to, to be the best. And now for the weather. Well, I'm sure to everyone's delight this afternoon we'll see any lingering rain clear to leave it mostly dry with some sunny spells, much less windy than Tuesday. That's all for now. The time is three minutes past 12. We'll see you again at one. This is Jesse Williams, Brighton Broadcaster News.